Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Hello. I'm Mason Smith, I'm here with Johnny Olvera, Amalia Smith, and Tyler Wolkowitz, who's across the field. A little bit jealous of him right now, he's got a much better view of the field than us. We got pushed into the visiting bleachers. Um, and we apologize for the poor camera angle of this game, but we're going to try our best to give you some good quality commentary and as best video as we can. That is true. Yeah. So today's matchup is at Franklin Tech in Turner's Falls. It's the Franklin County Tech Eagles against the Frontier Regional Red Hawks. Red Hawks are kicking off first, and the Eagles are going to be receiving. Any kicks? Bit of an onside kick to start it off, and the Eagles are going to fall on top of it. That is true. Three, two, one. And here's first down and ten for the Eagles. They give it a handoff. And there's just about three yards on that game. Three yards too many. <laughs> well, I mean, it's definitely... I, I don't know how much of uh, the Red Hawks football that you've watched, Johnny, but I feel like um, this team has some more potential than uh, they've had in the past, especially in terms of defense. They're putting up a good fight. We've got two men in the backfield, one man on the far side of the field for a pass, but they go with a run, and he breaks through. Riding and pulling him down, that's Aiden Dredge. So now we got another first and ten for the Eagles. Big gain on that last play, and another running play that was stopped. That was number 20, I think it is. I'm trying to get a look at his number, but he's not turning. Who is that? <laughs> Josiah Little is his name. That's very fitting. He's tiny. And he gets thrown down again. Good play there. That was Eddie Michkowski on the tackle. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for this one. Yeah, I mean, let's see. We got third down right now. Um, and I'd say it's hard to tell. I don't think that they've made much of a game in this set of downs, so... We could be looking at a turnover if Trent can make a stop right now. Here's the two fake handoff. He's looking for a pass, it looks like. Under pressure, there's a flag on the play when he's sacked. That's by Caden James, but it could get whistled off. It could get whistled. So they're going to go back 10 yards. It was a, I think it might have been a holding penalty on one of the linemen of the Eagles. But they're going to replay third down. You getting prepared here? Yeah. Got three, four receivers ready, it looks like. They're going for a pass, and that looked like a False start, maybe? False start on the offense. So they're going to go back another 10 yards, it looks like, or five yards, rather. It's still third down, so now I'd say it's about... We got third and, seven, third and 22 up on the board. <laughs> so a long third down conversion for the Eagles. They're almost back at midfield, Johnny. That, 
they're getting there. Let me they're getting there. <laughs> Gotta start up again. Here's the snap. Handoff. It's fumbled. James almost finds it, but it, it is he's tackled for a loss of at least ten, and it's going to be fourth down. Wow. Strong start of the drive for the Eagles. Looks like Frontier is conversating a little bit, getting up the spirits. <laughs> I think that with this start, they're probably, their spirits are probably already pretty high up. We got fourth and 32, so that was a loss of time. They're looking to punt. But Frontier doesn't have a receiver downfield. They're just rushing, trying to block it. They don't. So now the ball is just going to roll as far as it can before the Eagles touch it. That looks like it's within, definitely within the 20, maybe within the 15. Looks like some subs are happening. Yep. So now we're going to be seeing Frontier's first offensive drive. I feel it, Mason. I'm not gonna lie. I feel the. I feel that football rush. <laughs> you feeling excited, Johnny? I am feeling excited. I think it might be the weather too. We have some beautiful weather that for a football good. game tonight. Sunset is gorgeous here. So yeah, starting at the 10, it looks like Aiden Drudge ready to receive the snap. They're doing the wing formation, a handoff to James, I think. Got a couple yards on it, it looked like. Six yard gain on the first down, so now it's second and four. So off comes Braden Arsenal. I didn't catch you subbed in for him. But now going out to the near side of the field, or our near side of the field, is Ian Burt. As a receiver, we got another one just inside, but I can't see his number. Movement in the backfield and a handoff. Shut down quickly. That was James who received a handoff, and I think that was a gain of none or maybe a loss of one. It's hard to tell. Now we got third down. Let's see how this one turns up. Pareda comes off. Red Hawks still in the huddle. They like their huddles, let me tell you that. <laughs> Frontier with a nice student section. Not here at the bleachers, but a little bit down the track. Doesn't make much sense to me, but... Yeah. Guess they're trying to get a good view of the show. Faked handoff. Dredge goes for it. Sadly gets taken. I don't know if he made it. It's going to be close. Yeah, that's going to be fourth down. Fourth and one. This is going to be an interesting play choice, Johnny. I mean, it's fourth and one, so you have one yard to go. Yeah. But you're pinned down in your own side of the field. You're within the 20 or on the 20, it looks like. So if you can't get the first down here, you give the Eagles a really good opportunity. That is true. Eagles, like, as a species, they know something about good opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more with fish than football. You never know. Same thing. They're going for it. And Dredge is going to tell you, it looks like he got it. Clapping from the audience. First down for the Red Hawks, and the drive is going to keep going. That was a big play for them. So now they got a new set of downs. And they come out of the huddle. Wing formation again. Dredge takes the snap, hands it off. Fakes the handoff. He takes it himself. He's got room to work with. He's at the sideline. He's still going. He's at the 30. 25 20. He's still going. He's going to go all the way. It's a touchdown. Oh my God. Oh, I tell you, they're amazing. <laughs> Something like a 70-yard running play. 
for a touchdown, and the Red Hawks are going to take the lead. That was immaculate. I've never seen anything like that. It's also my first football game. <laughs> That's got to feel good for Dredge's dad, who is the coach, by the way. I've seen him run that play plenty of times. So now they're going for the field goal, looks like. They've got number seven, that's Brady Pareto, 10th grader. He's back to kick the ball into the upright. Uh, you don't see many field goals, or extra point attempts. Here it is, and it's good. Wow. The audience is ecstatic with that one. Yeah. I mean, big rivalry and a lead for your team, that's all you can ask for. We've also got quite a lineup in the parking lot for people trying to get into the game. We got 5.14 on the clock left for this first quarter. And the Red Hawks are up 7 nothing, and they're going to do a short kick again. Received by, who's number 5? That's Ethan Smar for the Eagles. And just a couple yards on that game, but they're at about the 41, I'd say. That is 41. If I could take a moment to appreciate this weather. Yeah. There really is some of the clouds are just washing the sunlight. Movement in the pocket and a completed pass. That's to smile again, I think. Yep, it is. So that was a five yard gain. Second and five for the Eagles. And you know, Johnny, that is something I'd say that the Eagles have an advantage over the Red Hawks. They have a quarterback that is able to pass the ball with more confidence. Oh, loss of yards. Two or three, I'd say. Third down and seven. To go to your early point, confidence is key. Let's see what, see what Frontier does with this one. This is a good show so far for Frontier. Teams line up. Here's the snap. Back to throw, and it's caught. I don't think that he made it. I think they caught him. Yeah, fourth down, fourth and one. Fourth and less than one, I'd say. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you could see the ball. There was a little bit of separation. Oh, no, they're going to give it to him. Interesting choice, Bill. Wow. I didn't think that he made it. Seem like he did, but I mean it was close enough. I guess he might as well give it to him. That is true. Eagles come out of the huddle. They've got receivers out on either side, ready for the pass. Two in the backfield, and here it is—the handoff to Little. That is Little, right? Yeah, Josiah Little, and he gets another big gain. He was putting a performance on, I'd say that. Yeah. Listen, what are your thoughts on this right now? Um, what's happening right now? I'd say, well, hold on. We, it looks like there might be a blitz. They're moving to the other side of the field, and a nice stop there. That was beautiful, I could say. Colin West helping out with that tackle there for the Red Hawks. 
But what I would say about all this, Johnny, we got two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. It's second and 11, and the Red Hawks are up seven to nothing, and they've brought the Eagles to third down on pretty much every set of downs that they've had so far. Um, I think that they are doing a fantastic job. Um, even if the even if the Eagles keep marching down the field and they score on this drive, I think that they've done a great job on defense. There's Little again, and he gets wrapped up. They knew he was a problem, so they stopped him. Yeah. Well, that played pretty well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The silhouette of Tyler up on top of the that press box. That is beautiful. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got third and eight. Eagles back to throw. Pass complete. And brought down by Aiden Dredge. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that tackle. They did not get the yards they needed. So now it's fourth down. And I'd say three or four yards, just about probably three. So fourth and three, we have a timeout taken, I believe, by Tech. So they're going to take a quick break, and so we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're getting right back into the action. There's a completed pass by the Eagles. That was Ian Burt with the tackle. But it is going to be a first down for the Eagles. So they're going to keep marching down the field. They're at about the 20 now. Let me see. I think that's number four that's in the pocket for the Eagles. Yep, that's Gabriel Tomasi. So Tomasi, back for the snap again. Hands it off to Little. And there are two Red Hawks to pin him down. You know, sometimes I have to wonder what came first, the Eagle or the Hawk? <laughs> we'll find out today. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess it depends on who changed their name. <laughs> Because, I mean, well, the Red Hawks didn't used to be the Red Hawks. They changed their name, like, I think it was back in the 90s, maybe? I, I don't know, dear field history. I think that's, that's just a guess. But here's the snap to Tomasi, and he's running the other way. He's got some room to work with some blocks, and he's going to go up the sideline and throw out of bounds. Clock's going to stop with 13.3 seconds left in the quarter. Is much isn't much time, I'd say. That was Colin West on the tackle for the Red Hawks. Oh, he wasn't thrown out of bounds. I'm going to keep the clock going, I guess. Eagles trying to get in one more play before the quarter ends. I don't know if they will. And they won't. So that is the end of the first quarter. The Red Hawks are up 7 to nothing, but the Eagles are in the red zone. Looks like they might score. So we're going to be right back with the second quarter of this rivalry matchup. Red Hawks against Eagles. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Johnny Olvera, Amalia Smith, and Tyler Walkowitz on the other side of the field. We've got the start of the second quarter. It is second and nine for the Eagles. And they are on the six, seven yard line. Trying to match things up. Yeah, it's second and seven, seven yard line. Hand off to Little. He's got some blocks. Let's see where he goes. They are close, if I can't say. Yeah, they're marking him short. About three yards short, I'd say. So four yard gain. A three yard gain is what they're saying. So it's third and goal at the four. Tamazio takes the ball, he's running with it, runs into his own man, and he's brought down by the Red Hawks. Wow. They fought for that one. Now we got fourth and goal at the four, and Tomasi is not happy about that. 
Yeah, that was smart he ran into. Which is about the only thing he can do. Here's the snap, fake handoff. He's looking to throw. He finds his man in the end zone. It's a touchdown. So now we got a score of six to seven. They're gonna go for two points. I guess they don't have a kicker. It's fair enough, not many high school teams do. Here's the snap and the throw. They got the two points, so they're gonna take a one point lead. It's eight to seven, the Eagles are on top. particularly of any consequence of anything. Fred Hawks put up a great defense, bottom to third, fourth down on just about every time they could in this drive, or that previous drive, I should say now. Here's the kickoff, and a nice strong kickoff from the Eagles received by Burt. He runs it out, gets some blocking. He's still going. Oh my goodness, he's just got the bigger to beat. And he makes it in. He's in the end. He can make it to the end zone even right here. He runs it all the way back. And just like that, the Red Hawks take the lead again. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That was stellar. I feel an adrenaline high. I can't even talk. <laughs> we got 13 to 8, and now we got to see if the Red Ox are going to go for two or if they're just going to take the extra point like they did last time. It looks like they're going to go for the extra point. They got Pareda back again. Here's the snap. The kick. kick is up. It's no good. Oh, it is good. That was my fault. <laughs> again, we don't have the best angle here. This is very unfortunate for us. It gave me more of a scare than Hurricane Lee. <laughs> So, Red Hawks take a six point lead after a phenomenal run back by Ian Burt. Flag is up and the play's blown dead. What's the call here? Ref's deferring, it looks like. I'm really not sure what the call is here. See what it is. I think they they either have one too many guys on the field or they have one less. I'm really not sure what that was, but they got pushed back five yards. 
Yeah, I think there was too many people at yeah. Coach County. Oh, no, we got, see, there's James running on the field. I guess we had one less than we needed. That's unfortunate, especially since we have been getting some deep kickoffs the past couple of times. Let's see what the Red Hawks can do. What can't they do, Mason? <laughs> Sophomore Jack Phillips kicks it and sends it out of bounds. I believe that will prompt some flags. If I'm right, that's against the rules. I might be mixing some things up. Don't quote me. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we got two penalties on the Red Hawks on that kickoff. <laughs> Definitely not what you want to see after the great run back like we just had. I think they're about to start. Eagles line up. They've got a receiver on the near side. Here's the snap, handoff to Little, and he's sent straight to the ground. You'd say they made it with little ways. <laughs> Wyatt Eads on that tackle. <laughs> I'm just listening to you, that's all, Molly. I know, but it's funny. Okay, okay. All right, they got a couple guys in the backfield now. Here's the snap. He's not going to hand it off. He looks to throw. Got some blocks to do it. And the pass is incomplete. Flag thrown. After the whistle. There's definitely some unhappy crowd members. There was a shove at the end of that route. I don't know if that warrants a pass interference call, though. Ball was way overthrown. Didn't even land in bounds. It did kind of hit a guy. Yeah. It hit the photographer. That's who it hit. From the recorder, it looked like. At least he'd go out doing what he loves. Plays going dead. This game's starting to get very interesting. The refs now talking amongst themselves. I really don't know what's going on, Johnny. I don't. You know more about this. They're putting more yards. Another ten yards. There wasn't even. Was there a flag thrown? 15 yards. I really have no idea what that's for. Did they, did they give them the wrong amount of yards? Because they gave them five yard penalty previously. There's, I don't think that there really is anything for a 20 yard penalty unless that's where the spot of the foul was. And I don't think that that's where it was if my memory serves me. But anyway, here's the snap and the handoff to Little. He's running out the side, grabbed and thrown down by Caden James. That's Colin West hopping around. It looks like he got a little bit of a cramp. Might have gotten stepped on or something by a cleat. That's unfortunate. He's rocking it off, though. He looks all right. What a champ. I like to see that. He's a good guy, that guy. Yeah. Eagles come out of the huddle. Receivers out to Tomasi's right. He's going to fake the handoff to Little. He's looking to run, and he will. I don't know if he's got blocks, it doesn't look like it, but he's still going and brought down for a first down, it looks like. Yeah. 
Yeah. This game is a lot of huddling. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got to plan out what they're going to do, Johnny. I've never realized that. <laughs> we got first and 10 for the Eagles inside the Red Hawks 30 running play and sent down to the ground. There's a bit of shove at the end of that. No flag called, but Red Hawks might want to control their temper just a little bit because we had that shove that resulted in the pass interference, and that wasn't called, but, you know, you're getting pushed back into your red zone, and that's... You, if you That's keep drawing, scary. if you keep drawing penalties, it's just it's only gonna, you know, screw you over more. Handoff goes nowhere except into the ground. As number ten for the Eagles, Jet Bastarach. What? A, that's a great name. That really is, especially for a fullback. You know, I'd hope he'd have a fullback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Receivers out to either side. Two men in the backfield. Here's the snap for Tomasi. He's going out to the near side of the field. Intercepted! Going up the sideline and sent down by Tomasi himself. That was number 82, Colin West with the interception. Big guy in the field making a big play for his team. That's what you like to see. Oh, yeah. Well, the sun's just about set here in Turner's Falls. And we've got just under seven minutes left in the first half of this game. Frontier is still up 14 to 8. And the Red Hawks are going to take a time out. They're going to take a quick break, and so are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Maya, do you know where my drink is? I brought a spin drift. I'm, it's mine now. Mm. It was so much I could think clearly the entire way. Fan, that's fantastic. Thank you, Mark. All right, Johnny. Uh, you're going to announce with me for the rest of these six, for the rest of the 652, and then I want you, during halftime, I want you to go over and keep time with company, okay? Appreciate it, man. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Blah. That was an interesting way to pronounce that word. Mason Smith, Johnny Olvera, Amalia Smith, and Tyler Wolkowitz from the other side of the field. Faked handoff and a loss of yards for the Red Hawks. Two guys still down on the field. Can't really see who they are. Looked like Dredge might have been one of them. So now... Red Hawks have, is it just second and 10? I could have sworn that they lost a couple yards. Well, the scoreboard says second and 10, so. That's what we're going with. Yeah. Nope, second and 14. So, I, I was right, it was a loss of four. We got Colin West out to one side, and I think that's Caden James out on the other. Wing formation for the Hawks with some receivers. Movement in the backfield, here's the snap, and the handoff to Michkowski. That's gonna go nowhere. Probably a gain of one, I'd say. So that would put us at third and 13 for the Red Hawks. Third and 12, so they got two. A lot of yards to make up. Just one down to do it. Yeah, I've never seen a Red Hawk. Really? Yeah. They do live around here. Really? Yes, they do. I mean, that's why I called them. I thought it was just a cool name. <laughs> I mean, it is a cool name, but it is an actual thing. 
Dredge takes a snap, back to throw. There he is, Burt running, and it's a little too far ahead of him. What a beautiful play that would have been. But it's fourth down now, and I think the Red Hawks might be forced to punt. They're on their own 30, and they're already up by six. There's no real reason to take the risk, I feel like. High risk, high reward, as they say. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes you got to be strategic about it. So, yeah, here we go. Back to punt. That's Colin West. And to receive for the Eagles is John Little. Not John Little, Josiah Little. That's my fault. Punt gets off clean. High and far. Gets to Little. He gets some blocking, but Dredge is there to wrap him up. And he is pumped. He's happy about that, of course. Kid on Christmas. <laughs> you said it, Johnny. <laughs> I tried. The Red Hawks haven't seen something like this in a little while, I'd say. So it's first and ten for the Eagles. They've got the ball on their own at 34. So about a 50-yard punt for Colin West. Some good numbers right there. Here come the Eagles out of the huddle. They've got a receiver on the near side of the field. But they're going to hand it off to Little. He's going to go up the far side, get some blocks. He's still going. He's got at least 15 yards, and he's brought down by Colin West. So that's definitely a first down. And now the Eagles are on their own 47, just about midfield. This is tense, folks. Here's the snap to Tomasi. He hands it off. The runner gets a couple blocks. Hit. He doesn't go down, but now he does after a gain of about five or six. There is a flag thrown on the first hit. That was Ethan Smarr. It looks like it might have been on the hold. They seem to be motion to the Eagles. It was either the Eagles hold. Yep, that's what it is. I was going to say it's either a holding or something about the first hit against Smar. Yep. So, yeah, they're going to move him back 10 yards. And that takes away most of the gain made by Little on that previous play. I believe it was Little who made that play. Front memory serves me. Here come the Eagles from the huddle. Tomasi back for the snap. There it is. Hands it off to Little. And he gets nothing. You can't break a good crowd. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Would you hear that? I've never heard that before. Did you just make it up? Yeah. You gotta say things with <laughs> That's why I love you, man. I love you, too. <laughs> Four minutes left in the half. We're just two away from the two-minute warning. Red Hawks have one timeout left, it looks like, if that is what they're indicating up there, although it might not be. It's hard to read their scoreboard from over here. Tomasi, back for the snap. There it is. He doesn't hand it off. He's looking for a throw. Almost gets sacked. Big hit in the backfield, and Tomasi's still going up the side, and he's going to run out of bounds after a game for a couple yards. Blows a kiss to the Red Hawks fans. Red Hawks fans get a stern warning from their football coach and vice principal, Dredge. So what's this say? Jack of all trades? That's him. Yep. And there he is. Scotty Dredge calling out of play. Here come the Eagles out of the huddle. Throw it over to Little, and he's almost tackled in the backfield. But now he's grabbed and sent down after about 10, 11 yards. Ooh, there's a flag on the play. I didn't see that. Penalty against the Red Hawks, and it's five yards in advantage for the Eagles. Yeah. 
Here come the Eagles out of the snap. It's first and 10 for them. They're at the Red Hawks 35. Hand off to Little, and he's wrapped up. And there's another flag in the backfield. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. You can call him a Cobra because he was tight with that one. So yeah, a 10 yard loss of that penalty for the Eagles. It's first and 20, so yeah, they're gonna replay the down. Out of the huddle. Here comes Tomasi. He's got receivers on either end. Looking to pass, but he's gonna run now. Takes a hit on the sideline and goes down. Colin West gonna get credit for the tackle, but Tomasi just ran straight into him. So now he got second down. That was about a 10 yard gain. Eight yards is what they're saying. Second and 12. Rushing out of the huddle, two receivers on the far side. Hand off to Little. And he goes out the far side. Let's see if anyone can catch him. Burt wraps him up and brings him down. He's got a first down, though. And that's at about the 20, 15 yard line, maybe? That was a good year. 25, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember that year. How old was I in 2015? I think we were, we were still in elementary. Well, yeah, definitely. It's about what? I was born in 2006, so, so I guess, eight. I think so. I can't do math right now, man. <laughs> this, is, this, is t this is officially the weekend, I'm not doing math. Hand off to the fullback, and he gets wrapped up by the whole offensive line, or defensive line. Bastarach, that was his name. I just remember his first name was Jet. You know what, I'm just gonna call him Jet. Jet is a much cooler name. It's, I mean, like, we usually do the last names, but we have exceptions. Informal night, too. Yeah. And a beautiful night, too. The sun is still setting over there. I'm sure you can see it on the camera. Just some beautiful colors over there. Second and five. Owen Little is wrapped up for, if not, no gain than a loss of yards. His name might be Little, but he's, he's having a big impact on this game. He is, Johnny. You said it. He's had some incredible rushing plays that have almost given the Eagles the edge in this game, but the Red Hawks still remain ahead after that amazing run back by Ian Burt off the kickoff. Tomasi steps up, ready for the snap. He's going to fake the handoff, looking for a throw. There it is. Caught and goes through his hands. That was Jet on the reception. He would have caught on the sideline if he could have held on to it. So now 31 seconds left in the half. And it's third and goal at the nine. Nope. It's just third and nine. Yeah, third and goal again. That's my fault. So they're going to take a quick break, and so are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Still Mason Smith here with Johnny Olvera, Amalia Smith, and Tyler Wolkowitz. High snap. He almost fumbles it. He basically does, and he falls on top of it in the backfield. It's now going to be fourth down for the Eagles. Or was that fourth down? Is it a turnover now? Yeah, it was. I thought it said third before, but I guess I didn't look soon enough. So, a turnover for the Red Hawks on a bad snap by the Eagles center. It could be the cold where my body is shivering with excitement for this one. It's not the best start, that's for sure. I mean, it's a start for the drive, but... We've seen plenty that are better. 
Dredge in the pocket. Ready for the snap. There it is. He's back to throw. Looks down the sideline. It's Burt. And once again, it's just a little bit too far ahead of him. They try one more time. I think they're, they're going to get it. They do have that one. I don't think that... They're, they're going for it all right now. Johnny, it's, I mean, 27 and a half seconds. Or 21 and a half seconds left in the half. There's no point in just... Ideally. Just yeah, I mean, I think that what they're going to do, they're going to try another Hail Mary for this play and then if that doesn't work they're just gonna take a knee run out the clock for this half they don't want to take a chance so here's dredge takes the snap back to throw again looking for his man sideline and west isn't there it's third down and ten let's see what they do they could go for a deep pass, but then they put themselves up fourth and ten. I'm not sure what they're going to want to do here. Your options are tough. And yeah, it looks like they're going to take a knee. Dredge takes the ball, and there it is. Clock's going to run down on... Hold on. I'm just going to... Yeah. Okay. Clock's going to run down on this first half of the game. The Red Hawks are up 14 to 8. Are they just taking a timeout? I think, I think they are taking a timeout. This is interesting. Well, whoever's running the scoreboard has it wrong. It's not second and 10. On the field, they're saying it's fourth and 10. So. That is, you know, that's actually, the Eagles took that time out there, Johnny. And that is, I think that's a really smart play by them. Because they have now forced a 4th and 10 onto, them. onto the Red Hawks. This could be, if they can force a fumble here, um, run it out of bounds or run it back, they take a timeout. They could create a scoring position for themselves at the end of this half. This is a really smart play by the coach of the Eagles, which is... Joe Gamachi. All the Joes I've met have been coming, so surprise. <laughs> so now Red Hawks are back to punt. Eagles have a receiver. Punt is off clean. Nice punt there by West. Hits the ground. And that was Tomasi there waiting for the punt. Yeah. And they're just going to let the clock run down on that one. That's going to be the end of the first half. All right, there we go. So the score is 14 to 8, Red Hawks on top. Um, and what are, you, what are your thoughts on how the Red Hawks can keep up this lead, Johnny? It's tough to say, really tough to say, but they're doing good. You know, if they if they truly just give it their all as they're doing, I think they'll they'll find a way. Yeah, they've been doing great on defense so far. Yeah. They've been really pushing on offense. A couple of great plays and. Dredge is settling into the pocket pretty well. He's getting some time to throw. So yeah. I think that the Red Hawks are doing a great job so far. And uh, we'll see what happens in the second half of this matchup against the Franklin County Tech Eagles and the Frontier Regional Red Hawks. So hold on one second. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess, folks, here's the thing. Aiden Dredge picked up the ball with .7 seconds left in the half. And the coach, Joe Gamachi, who's the head coach for the Eagles, saw that. And he wants to play the down. So here come the Eagles. Here's the snap. Hand off to Little. He's got some blocks. Tries and goes up the sideline. And James wraps him up and throws him down. Wow. Um, well, that was an interesting end to that first half. Uh, we won't do the wrap-up like we just did because we just did it. So the score is 14-8, to eight, Red Hawks on top. We're going to be back in just a few moments with the second half of this game, which is sure to be very exciting. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Am Amalia Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz, and Johnny Olvera. It is the second half of 
this football game against the Red Hawks and the Eagles. Ooh, what a hit there off the kickoff. That was Julian Adams who took that hit. Or got tackled. I don't know. Reminder of the score, Red Hawks are up 14 to 8 right now. And they are starting with the ball. Aiden Dredge is back in the pocket. He hands it off. And that was Ian Burt. Nope, Baden Arsenal. That was Arsenal with the run. And that was about six, seven yards, I'd say. Well, the Red Hawks don't throw the ball all that much, but their running game, especially in this game so far, has been fairly reliable. And I think that the main reason for that has been their offensive line. Their offensive line has been very good this game. They've given Dredge plenty of time to throw when he needs it. And there he is with another handoff. Fakes the handoff, and he's still going, gets hit in the legs and goes down. For a first down, there is a flag. They're going to take the first down away from them. Holding in the backfield or something to that effect on the Red Hawks. And here come the Red Hawks out of the huddle. So it is second and 16 by the looks of the scoreboard. He's got two receivers out. Dredge in the pocket, calls a snap. There it is. He's going to throw it a lateral almost to Burt. He gets by the tackle and gets maybe four yards, I'd say. So now we're looking at third and 12. Not a good situation for the Hawks. They're on their own 44. About midfield, but still not really worth the risk of going for it on fourth unless you make a really big game, make it like fourth and one, fourth and two, something like that. I mean, you're up in the ball game. I, I mean, there isn't that much of a reason to try and risk it to just keep it, get, uh, keep it down going and give possibly give the Eagles a big advantage. Fakes the handoff. Dredge throws. Looking for Burt. It's intercepted. Intercepted at the 25. Burt was the target on that route. And with 9.46 left in the third quarter, the Eagles are going to take control on their own 25. So here's the snap for Tomasi. Hands it off to Little, it looked like. Might have been Smar. Nope, that was Little. He gets a couple yards, if any. He's wrapped up pretty quickly. And that's been kind of the pattern for him as of late. He had some breakthrough runs at the beginning of this game, and the Red Hawks have figured it out pretty quickly. Definitely at this point at the start of the second half. Yep, it's second and nine. Eagles out of the huddle. Receivers on either end, four total. Tomasi calls the play, gets a high snap. He stays on top of it though. And intercepted, James catches it. He's going up the sideline and brought down. Oh my God. And you know, <laughs> Very reminiscent to the run back from Burt. Just when the Eagles get an advantage in the game, the Hawks strike back in the exact same fashion. 
So after Dredge throws an interception, James intercepts the ball for the Red Hawks and they regain possession. Now they are on the 20 yard line, I believe that's what it looks like. Hard to tell from this angle, plenty of people in the way. But here's Dredge in the pocket. He's looking to run lateral. Arsenal got some room and some blockers. He makes a move. He's going to the end zone. Touchdown! <laughs> 20 to 8 is the score as Braden Arsenal gets a 20 yard rushing touchdown. So now it looks like, as usual, they're going to send Brady Pareda. Out on the field. Yep, there he is. Pareda is going to try and kick the extra point again. He's two for two on the night so far for the Red Hawks. Here he goes, looking three for three. And it is good. Twenty-one to eight, Red Hawks on top, and what a great feeling this must be after taking a couple tough losses to some teams like Lunenburg, which was a bit too far of a drive out east for my liking. Although we didn't cover that on FCAT, there was um, some coverage for uh, Coach Cam that I was a part of, and that involved something like a two like hour and a half, two hour drive out to Lunenburg. Um, we got a storm delay and eventually a postponement after the first quarter of play. And the only good thing about it was I learned about the Red Hot Chili Peppers cover of Stevie Wonder's Higher Ground. Don't know if it was worth it yet. But there's the grounder of a kickoff. And the Eagles... That was Jet, the fullback, who's still on the ground. He takes his helmet off and he looks like he's hurt. Players are taking a knee and they're going to take a quick break in the game and so are we were watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Thankfully, uh, Jet, the fullback for the Eagles, uh, got up and walked it off. It seems like he might have just gotten the wind knocked out of him. Uh, we hope he's all right. Um, but we're back now. The Eagles take the snap and a handoff to Josiah Little. He's got some blocks. He's running up the sideline. Five-yard game for the Eagles. Yep, second and five. 20 is how much time we have left in the third quarter. And here come the Eagles out of the huddle. There's the snap to Tomasi, and he hands it off to Little again. He's got some blocks and some room. He's going up the far sideline. He's got two men to beat, and he's hit down. That was Pareda. Shoulder check out of bounds. Wow. Not out of bounds, he was hit on the sideline. They're gonna keep the clock running. What a play by Pareda. Kicking the extra points and now he made that big stop which definitely saved the Red Hawks a touchdown. Here's the snap to Tomasi. He hands it off to Little again. And he gets wrapped up. Well there you go, it's like, I'd say like 70-30 chance for Little, that's what it's gotten to at this point. 70% of the time the Red Hawks read the play and they wrap him up and then that other 30% is what you just saw in that last play where he just gets a couple good blocks, gets some room to work with and he's just gone. He's a small guy out in a field of a lot of big men and he's just is able to squeeze through a lot of little, tiny little pockets. Here's the snap back to throw. Tomasi gets some pressure from behind and he's sent down after a couple yards of gain. So now we got third down, I believe. There's Javian Cabrera coming in for the Red Hawks. 
Or nope, that was a first down. Where are they, it looks like? Yeah, they're on the Red Hawks 10 yard line. Glock is running and we got about six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Score is still 21 to eight. Red Hawks on top once again. Tomasi has two men in the backfield and two receivers on the near side. He hands it off to Little. Little makes a move. Little on the outside and he's brought down. That looked like James on the tackle if I read that number right. I can't really tell he's not turning my right. Nope, that was Dredge. Aiden Dredge gets that tackle. Second and seven. I guess it's second and goal from the seven. Tomasi gets a couple blocks. He keeps the ball and is wrapped up. I don't think he got any yards. Maybe even a loss of one. Good read on that play by the Hawks. So it's third and goal from the nine. Red Hawks need a stop here if they want to stay in control of the game. Tomasi takes the ball outside. He's going to try and run it. He gets by one of the Red Hawks and seems like he might have gotten tripped up or something. He falls down. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth down. Let's see what they put up for the yardage on the scoreboard. They still have it at nine from the last play, but I think he definitely made up a couple of yards. Five yard gain, so it's fourth and goal from the four. The Eagles are down by 13 right now, and we have just under five minutes left in the third quarter. This is a big play right here. We got receivers on either end, two running backs behind Tomasi. Here's the snap. He fakes the handoff, throws it to Little. Little got some room. He's going to sideline. It's going to be close. I don't think they're going to call it. We got a turnover. Red Hawks come up with a big stop. Oh no, it was a first down. They, they had the first down mark on the one. See, that's a consequence of being right on the sideline. Running play, and that's gonna be a touchdown. That was my fault. But, so now, Eagles get another six points. Oh, we're gonna have to take a knee, maybe. Cabrera was down for a moment there, but he gets up, hobbling around a little bit. He's gonna try and walk it off to the sideline. So now the score is 21 to 14. Eagles are gonna go for two. Here's the snap. Tomasi looks like he's gonna try and run it himself or a short throw. He's gonna run it himself. The call is it's in. There's the two point conversion. So now it's 16 to 21. Five point game. That is a huge, huge play for the Eagles. That put them right back in the middle of this game. They're one touchdown away from taking the lead away from the Red Hawks, who've been holding it since just about, I think it was the first quarter when they took the lead. We could be looking at a real close game at the end of this. We got 3.45 left on the clock for the third quarter. 
and it looks like a little pep talk or some sort of strategy. Strategy? Did I say that right? I thought I said, I thought I said that wrong. Some sort of strategy talk that's happening uh, for the Eagles. They had a little huddle before the kickoff now. Burt back to receive, and it's going to be an onside kick. Almost fumbled by the Red Hawks. Is it fumbled? What's the call? They're pointing in the Red Hawks' direction. It looks like they recovered the ball. That was that was scary. So it was a strategy talk. Looks like I think the kicker might have personally called that onside kick, although you can't really tell. So yeah, the Red Hawks are going to keep the ball. That was. That would have been quite something if they had, the Eagles had been able to retain possession, march back down and score another touchdown, possibly before the fourth quarter even starts. But the Red Hawks have the ball. They've got receivers on either side, two men behind Dredge. And here comes the snap. He hands it off. Gets a bad block and he's gonna be sent down. That was Arsenal on that one. He kind of ran to his own man there. seen that before. I don't know if we have the camera on the sideline right now. I don't think that we do, but Javion Cabrera's helmet, it looked like he took a hit from someone and the, the helmet broke, the grill of the helmet broke. So he's switching helmets with someone, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but meanwhile on the field, we got the wing formation for the Hawks. Receivers on either side, movement in the backfield by Burt. Handoff is to James, and he's going to dive forward for a gain of couple yards I'd say. A little exchange of words there in the middle of the pile. I think that was Rice in the middle of that. Jacob Rice. So now it's third and five for the Red Hawks. They're on their own 45. Wing formation receivers on either side. There's the handoff. Arsenault is wrapped up and sent down to the ground for one yard. Fourth and four is the situation for the Red Hawks. Cabrera's still on the sideline. I can't tell if he's gotten his helmet fixed or not. I really am not sure what happened there, but I think he has. And I think the Red Hawks will punt it now. I mean, the Eagles just showed that they very well can score when given the opportunity to, and there you go. Colin West is back to punt. Calls a snap, it's high. He gets it down and sends it across the field. Red Hawks are gonna roll, let it roll, and it'll fall on the 15 yard line. Right on it. Good punt there from West. And so now it's the Eagles ball with a minute 15 left in the quarter. Eagles come out of the huddle. Tomasi takes the snap, hands it off to Little. Little gets a block. Little's going down the field and there's Brett down. Stanislavski, Connor Stanislavski, gets the tackle on that play. If I read that number right, number 17, yep. So a big game there and a first down. And here's another handoff wrapped up and sent to the ground by the, by the Red Hawks front line. Cabrera right in the middle of it again. Hey, 
Oh boy. That did not look good. Cabrera's on the ground and um, they're gonna take a take a quick break on the field and so we were watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. Javian Cabrera walked off his injury and he's on the sideline now. Big tackle for a loss of a couple yards. That was number 54, Alex Schreiber, making a big play. It looked like Cabrera might have just gotten a cramp or something. We hope he's all right. Here's the throw, tipped, almost intercepted by Pareda, pounding his fist on the ground. He almost came up with a huge play for the Red Hawks there. That was just a bad throw by Tomasi. Throw was behind his receiver, it was Ethan Smart. And then Pareda laid out on the field to try and grab that tipped ball, and he just couldn't. So they're gonna take a timeout. I think that was uh, Tech who took that timeout, so. Oh, actually, no, it's the start of the fourth, fourth quarter. So they're gonna take a quick break, and so are we, watching Frontier Community Access Television. See, I can do the outro fine. It's always just like, why are they stopping? Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Snap back for a punt, and it's a terrible punt. Oh my god. Is it going to stay in bounds? <sighs> Close call there. Landon Hardy. Who in the roster is there as a tight end and a linebacker. Made that punt for some reason. Um, don't think he'll be doing that again. <laughs> Red Hawks have some good field position though. They're looking at starting on their own on uh, the Eagles 37 Red Hawks come out of the huddle Dredge has three receivers out to either side he's got a man behind him for the run he's going to toss it to Arsenault Arsenault makes a move Arsenault up the sideline and he gets brought down That was about a six, seven yard gain, I'd say. So that's second and third. Seven yard gain by Arsenal. Lennox now at the 30. And we're now in the fourth quarter, so we have 11 minutes left in this game. The Red Hawks are still up by five. They get a touchdown here. That it could be potentially the deciding factor in this game. A lot of men behind Dredge and Burt takes an early hit in the pocket as he gets the handoff. And he goes down pretty quickly. I don't think that there was a game for anything there. Yeah. So it's third and three. Dredge out of the huddle again. Wing formation. No receivers out for him. Calling out the play. Motion by Burt. Hands it off to James and he's shut down. Now it becomes fourth and third. If not, maybe a little more. It might be fourth and four. After that he got sent a little backwards, but I don't know if they'll count that or not. It still says fourth and third on the, uh, actually no, it's fourth and two, he got a yard, wow. Looks like he got sent back pretty far, but. So here come the Hawks, two yards to go to get the first down. It's fourth down now for them. Wing formation again, three men behind Dredge. Hands it off to James again, fakes it, he keeps it and hands it off to Arsenal and he looks like he might have gotten the first down but there's a flag on the play as well. 
Based on Dredge's reaction, it might be on the Hawks. I'm not sure. Let's see what the refs say. I'm not sure. It is a penalty on the Hawks. They're going to end up replaying the down, I think. So it looks like it's going to be fourth and seven. In that case, I think that the Hawks might want to punt it. Although, then, I mean, that could result in a touchback. Not that that's a bad thing. Oh, wow. Uh, so it was a 10 yard penalty. It's fourth and 12. Uh, yeah. In that case, I don't know if it's that much of a close call between trying to get those seven yards for the first down or punting it. I think it might be an obvious decision, but Dredge, Scott Dredge has other plans. He's going for it on fourth and 12. His team is up by five points. Motion by Burt in the backfield. Dredge calls out the play. There's the snap, fakes the handoff to Burt. Back to throw, he's got receivers. Throws, and it goes in and out the hands of James. Great play, looks like it might have hit off the grill of his helmet. And so it'll be a turnover. A gamble that didn't pay off for the Red Hawks. Ben Karen on the sideline shaking his head. So now Eagles in control of the game. Little gets the ball. He gets a block. He's going up the sideline. He's got a couple men to beat. And he's still going and out of bounds now. Hyping up the crowd. 25, maybe 30 yard gain on that run. There's going to be a timeout called by the Red Hawks. They're going to take a quick break and so are we watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Amalia Smith, Johnny Olvera, and Tyler Wolkowitz. The score is 21 to 16. The Eagles hand it off and get wrapped up immediately. No gain on that play. It's going to be second and 10 from the Red Hawks 40 yard line, 39, maybe 38 yard line actually. Um, we have just over eight minutes left in this game. The Eagles are making a strong drive right now. They made a big stop on the Red Hawks when they went for it on 4th and 12. And Tomasi hands it off to Little again, who got a big gain. And he gets just about 2 or 3, I'd say. So it's 3rd down and 8. 7.45 in the game. The Eagles can score here. They put the Red Hawks in a dangerous position. They have it, they're uh, two for two right now on their two point conversion. So if they score again, that's going to put them. Oh, hold on, we got the play. Tomasi takes the ball, looks like he's going to run it. He'll throw it, and it's behind his receiver, Smar, and it's dropped. So an incomplete pass is going to result in fourth and eight. This has been a game with a lot of risks taken by coaches on both sides. I think that. The Eagles are going to go for it. But as I was saying, if the Eagles score another eight points, they have 16 right now, that would put them at 24, which is three points over the Red Hawks. So here we go. Two receivers on the far side of the field. Tomasi takes the snap. He's back to throw. Under pressure. He's moving out of the pocket. He's going to run it. Let's see if they can get him. And they will. Was it in time? I think so. It will be a turnover for the Red Hawks. And... They, came up, they come up with a big stop now. Let's see what they can do with this drive with 7-11 left in the game.
Here come the Hawks out of the pocket. Or the huddle. Why did I say the pocket? I don't know. Dredge has two men behind him and two men on either side receiving. He's going to hand it off. That was Arsenault, I think. And he gets about five yards, four or five yards on that run. Mitchkowski and Pickert come out. Saw James running, but I didn't see who his other replacement was. Same formation as the last play for the Hawks. Here's the snap for Dredge. He fakes the handoff. He's going to run it himself, and he trips. He gets tripped up. He's going to fall down. I think he was short of the first down, or it was a little hard to tell. Yeah, it's going to be third down. Third down and one. I'd say third down one or two. Depends on where they mark him down. Wow, third and three. All right. Third down and three. Starting to wonder if any team is going to get a first down in these remaining drives in the game. Red Hawks couldn't make the conversion. But the Eagles couldn't. Now the Red Hawks are pinned down again, third and three. Receivers on either side. And it's the wing formation for Dredge. He keeps the ball, tosses out to Arsenal. Arsenal has a little bit of room. Does he have the blockers? I don't think so. He goes out of bounds. I think that'll stop the clock. But it's fourth down. He didn't get the conversion. So let's see what yards they give him. Are they going to keep it at three? I think they will. Yeah, fourth and three. Five, 37 in the game. Red Hawks up by five. It's fourth and three, and they're going to go for it. Dredge has men behind him. He takes a snap, hands it off, and it looks like they got it. Maybe. I don't think so, based on the cheering from the student section of Tech. So the Red Hawks turn it over. This is third turn turnover in a row, I think. And here comes Little. Little makes a man miss, and he gets brought down after about five yards. Scoreboard still says that the Red Hawks have the ball. I was waiting. I was waiting for them to change it to make that call because I can't really tell what the refs are saying on the field sometimes. But I mean, it's very apparent that the Eagles have the ball now. They just ran a play, so. Here they come out of the huddle again. It is second and three. Seven yard gain on that run by Little. Handoff, stuffed, and didn't get the first though. He did. Wow. First time in a little while that we see a first down conversion from either team. Four forty-five left in the game. Hand off to Little. Little gets through the pack and is brought down. Eagles making a last minute drive that if successful could haunt the Hawks. A touchdown puts the Eagles in front in this game. Here's the handoff to Little again, and he's brought down after just two yards at the most. First 
first and ten from the 15 for the Eagles. Scary position to be in for the Hawks. Here they come out of the huddle. Receiver going out. He's on the far side. Tomasi hands it off. Little gets a block and he gets a couple yards. Flag is thrown. This could make or break the drive for the Eagles. What's the call? Looks like it was on the Red Hawks. Flag is on the Red Hawks and they're going to move it half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down, so it is first and goal for the Eagles from the five. Receiver set up on either end. Two men in the backfield for Tomasi. He's ready for the snap, there it is. He hands it off to Little. Little gets some blocks. Is it in? I think they're gonna call him short. 3.15 in the game. Second and goal at the one. Eagles in position to score. Red Hawks need to come up with a big stop here. Clock is still running down. Under three minutes. Eagles come out of the huddle. Receivers on the far side and two men behind Tomasi. Tomasi takes the snap and rushes it himself. Touchdown Eagles. They take a one point lead, 22 to 21, and they're undoubtedly gonna go for two points to make it a three point lead. There's 231 on the clock. And again, a very big play for the outcome of this game. If the Red Hawks can stop them here, they could go down and try and kick a field goal. They've made every single extra point that they've tried in this game so far. So a field goal doesn't seem so outlandish. Little, he doesn't make it. Two point conversion is no good. It's a one point game with 2.31 on the clock. Oh my God. Red Hawks need to play every single one of the cards right right now. They need to play them right, they need to play them well, and they need to play them in the exact right order to seal this game up. Now, what remains to be seen is if the Eagles are going to do an onside kick. They have a one point lead. Do they want to take the ball? And try and go down and score again, run out the clock. Or do you want to try and play it safe, but give the Red Hawks a chance? Eagles out of the huddle. It's Max and Brunette. Sophomore is going to kick it. Here's the kick, and it will be on side. Well, kind of. Here comes Pereira. Pereira gets a block. Pereira trying to move to the sideline, and he gets grabbed from behind and sent out of bounds. They might well remember, it seems like he hit the ground just before he rolled out. Good return for Pereira. And the fans no doubt thought he might do exactly what Ian Burt did earlier in this game and bring it all the way home. 2.24 on the clock. Red Hawks have the ball. It's first and 10 from their own 46. <laughs> yeah. 
long huddle for the Red Hawks. And they break. Wing formation behind Dredge. Calls out the play. There's the snap. He hands it off. James takes it. He gets a couple blocks. James is moving, and he gets brought down after, I think that was a first down. It's going to be close. It will be a first down. Clock is still going, and they're going to try and run a play quick before the two-minute warning hits. They have seven seconds. Two receivers on the near side. There's the snap. Faked handoff. Dredge keeps it. Throws it to Burt. Burt gets a block and brought down. Just about three yards shy of the first down. It's second and three. 140 on the clock. Dredge breaks the huddle. Bird on the far right side of the field. Movement by Arsenal in the backfield. Dredge throws the ball to Arsenal. Arsenal has a couple blocks and he's going to get his legs sweeped out from under him. No gain it looked like. Nope, they got it. They count it as a first. A minute 15 left to play. Red Hawks are on the, are on the Eagles 30 yard line. They are down by one. They're well with, I feel like they get 10 more, they get one more first down. I think that they could be comfortable kicking a field goal to win this game. We're under a minute now. Movement by Burt. Dredge hands it off and Burt taken down immediately by the legs. Dredge might have to call a timeout, and I think that he will. That stops the clock at 46.7 seconds. We have under a minute to play. Red Hawks are down by one, and they have the ball at the Eagles' 30. I haven't seen a game this tense in a long time. They're going to take a quick break, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith here with Amalia Smith, Tyler Wilkowitz, and Johnny Rivera. Less than a minute to play in this game. The Frontier Red Hawks are down by one and they're on the Eagles' 30-yard line. Dredge takes the snap, back to throw, throws it. James gets it! Seven to twenty-two. The Red Hawks are on top. They have a five-point lead. What are they going to go for? Are they going for two? I saw it. Dredge signaling for two. There's just forty seconds left in the game. I've never seen anything like this in my life. They're going for two. Bird on the far side. Colin West on the near side. James is next to Dredge. He hands it off to James. Fakes the handoff. He's keeping himself. And he gets tackled. Conversion is no good. But the Hawks are still up by five. And there's 40 seconds left on the clock. to be one of the most incredible drives I've ever seen or called. Coming down the field is just down by one point. It's a make or break drive. If the Red Hawks can hold on to this lead, King James is going to go home and hero. So 
So here's the kickoff. It's Colin West. If I'm reading his number right. He kicks it short. And they wrap up the Eagles at around midfield. I'm not sure what the play call was there. I mean, if anything, you want to try and kick it as deep as you can, pin them down in their own territory. I, I guess they just wanted to try and retrieve the ball on the onside kick and run out the clock. Oh, that wasn't Colin West. That was, uh, it wasn't 82, it was 88. That was Jack Phillips. Who had the kickoff? My fault. 35 seconds left in the game. The Red Hawks are up by five. And the Eagles have the ball in midfield. Aiden Dredge on the field trying to hype up the crowd. Here come the Eagles out of the huddle. Sacked. That was Tomasi. He tried, I don't know if he tried to QB sneak it or what. Was there a fumble? I don't believe it. The Eagles fumbled the ball. Did they? I could have sworn I saw one of the referees motion in the Red Hawks direction. Either way, there's 26 and a half seconds left in the game. If the Eagles still have the ball, which the scoreboard says it does, although it's been wrong before, um, they still have half the field to go. Yeah, that was that wasn't a fumble. I thought I saw the ball pop out for a minute. Tomasi back in the pocket. He's got three receivers. He fumbles the snap. He's trying to make something happen. He gets swarmed. He's stuck within bounds of the clock. Still running. Timeout is taken by Tech. And that is exactly what you want to see if you're Frontier. It's third down. Nineteen point three left in the game. It's third and twenty. Red Ox have to make a stop on two more downs. <laughs> and here they come out from the timeout. Eagles line up. Four receivers total, one man in the backfield with Tomasi. Tomasi calling out the play. Hands it off. And he hands it off again. He's going to the other side. And he's tackled for a loss of yards. Clock's still going. We're under 10 seconds. They're going to try and run one more play. They have no timeouts left. There's the snap. They got it off in time. Tomasi running around. This is the last play of the game. He gets brought down. The Red Hawks win. The Red Hawks win and a way to win against Franklin Tech. Final score is 27 to 22. An absolute miracle. Dredge walking away with a phenomenal victory in his pocket. That might be enough to fuel this team into having 
a similar, similarly incredible victory over Greenfield, who they're playing next week at home. This has got to be the best feeling in the world for the Frontier Redhawks right now after having a couple tough losses to start off the season, especially against the game against Lunenburg. Once again, 27-22, Redhawks on top after some incredible plays. The run back off the kickoff by Ian Burt. The touchdown to win the game by Caden James. An absolutely phenomenal play for every single one of the players. I'm Mason Smith, here with Amalia Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz, and Johnny Olvera, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Red Hawks win against Tech, 27-22. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you have a wonderful day. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Television.